Creating Equipment Using CAD Files In this video, we will be looking at how you can import the CAD geometry of your equipment and how you can assign material to the imported parts. EDEM is capable of importing a range of different CAD formats, including IGIS, STEP, and STL, which are standard formats that most CAD packages can produce. You are able to import CAD geometry by right-click on Geometries, select Import Geometry, and browsing to your required CAD file. Once selected, press Open, and you will be presented with the CAD import options. The first option allows you to choose the units that the CAD file was created in from the list available. This ensures that the part is created at the right scale in EDEM. The next option is Merge Sections. Sometimes, a single CAD file might contain multiple individual parts as an assembly. During import of a CAD file, EDEM will identify individual equipment parts within a CAD assembly and will create an individual EDEM geometry object for each of them. By checking the Merge Sections option, all the geometry in a CAD file will be combined together as a single EDEM geometry object, rather than individual parts. You can also choose to merge geometry objects once the parts have been imported. The next window that appears provides you with a range of geometry import parameters. This video will not cover these options in detail, and for most CAD objects, you can use the default options. If you are particularly interested in where, or exporting data to a finite element analysis package, then you can check the quality option rather than curvature. This option means that a finer geometry mesh is assigned to imported CAD parts. Once the import process has completed, you will be able to view the imported object in the viewer window. And on the Geometries section of the Creator tree, you will see each of the imported parts. During CAD import, EDEM will inspect the CAD file to see if it can identify any existing part names. If names are identified, EDEM will auto-assign those names to the respective parts in the list. If EDEM is unable to identify any names in the CAD file, it will name each part with the imported file name and assign it a numerical index. As with the built-in geometry objects, you can choose to rename imported parts using the Rename Geometry option. Finally, once you have imported your equipment from a CAD file, it is important that you assign it the correct material. As with built-in EDEM geometry, you can define the material for each part of your equipment from the General section of the Details view.